Forever just bumming it to the gym. I don't know if this is a thing, but I'm gonna start calling it bum fashion. So, while I'm going to the gym, I just wanted to talk to y'all a little bit about something that I saw online. I'm gonna talk about the president. I'm not gonna talk about his politics or his views or anything like that. I'm gonna strictly just talk about um, his diet. That's my seatbelt, I gotta put my seatbelt on. Go! So I don't know if y'all saw this picture of him online. It, it's literally a picture of him on a plane eating McDonald's. I did some research and apparently he really loves his fast food. It says his favorite foods are uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken. There's also a picture of him on a plane eating a bucket of Kentucky Fried Chicken with a side of mashed potatoes about this big and like a bucket of gravy. So his favorite foods are pizza, fried chicken, meatloaf, steak, McDonald's. He says that he likes McDonald's because he's a germaphobe and he likes the cleanliness of it. I don't know, I don't understand why, but that's what he says. I'm thinking to myself, like put aside his political views, who he is as a person. Is this the type of person we want as the picture of America? <laughs> like he's literally the leader of America and he's eating McDonald's. He eats McDonald's every day. I read somewhere that um, his meal of choice from McDonald's is two Big Macs, uh, two fish fillets, large order of fries, and soda. Do y'all know how many calories that is? <laughs> That's literally like over a day worth of calories in uh, one sitting. I don't know why he can't get a nutritionist or a chef. Like, doesn't the White House have a chef? You'd think they would, right? Like, why can't someone just prep his meals? Barack Obama, Michelle Obama, again, not talking about political views, they were extremely into fitness and nutrition and their diet. I mean, y'all know what Michelle Obama did for this country. She created the My Plate, changed the food pyramid, started adding healthier lunches in schools, was all about fitness, was all about the kids, was all about promoting physical activity in schools and that's what I do that's what my research is on so I really admired that about her they were fit they were happy they were engaged in the community and now we have this obese president whose meal of choice is two Big Macs from McDonald's I think it's like 30% of men and no 35% of men and 37% of women in America are are obese or overweight. And the number just keeps getting higher, especially with children. Like, if you're overweight or obese as a child, your chances of being overweight and obese as an adult, like, doubles. Not only that, now that I'm parked, I can talk to y'all more. <laughs> Not only that, but obesity cost us money. The obesity crisis in America costs the nation like 150 billion dollars every year through healthcare. I mean, even our firefighters, our police officers, the people who are supposed to take care of us and be there for us are uh, overweight and gaining weight. Also a safety risk because I don't want to be in trouble, have a guy like mug me or rob me or something like that, call the cops and then have an overweight cop come and save the day. Like, fuck it, I'm more in shape than some of these cops, I could just fucking do it myself. And with the research I do with the obesity in kids in school, it leads to a lower rate of performance, sports-wise and academic-wise. Kids who are overweight and obese show to have um, higher anger issues, they're more disobedient in class. So obesity rates in adults have doubled, and the obesity rates in children have tripled since I think like the 1980s or 1990s. And just another fact, the people with the higher rates of obesity, I mean, I'm not being racist, this is a true fact, the Hispanics and African Americans of low social economic status are the ones with the highest rates of obesity. And with Trump wanting to cut all support, I mean, I'm, again, I'm not going to go into the politics, but with Trump as president, I don't see it going too well for obesity um, in our country. So. <laughs> Those are my thoughts for today. Um, if y'all have any comments or questions, uh, just comment them below. Send me a message. Like always, my Instagram is body by Natalie. My Beat the Binge blueprint is going to be in the comments below the application. So I'm about to go work out, crush some deadlifts. I hope y'all have an amazing Thursday, and I will catch y'all tomorrow.